<laughs> Thanks for coming by and I hope you're hungry. This is uh, Cooking with Bunny. Smoking Bunny. So today we're gonna cook some pork with uh, orange sauce and garlic and uh, onions. So I hope you're all ready and uh, it's gonna be a good show. Now, the uh, first thing you gotta do is uh, chop your uh, chop your onion there. Uh, if you uh, if you got a problem with ash in your food, you're you're watching the wrong program. So um, all right then. Guess these things don't just fall apart on their own, huh? Um, all right, I'll be back in a moment, kids. A lot of people there, they, uh, they ask me why I, why I don't like, like, uh, carrots there. Um... Tell them it's because I, uh, I spent way, way too much time as a child eating carrots. You know, when you eat carrots for dinner every night when you're growing up, because that's all you can get because you're too poor because you live in a farm. You know, you, you, live, you live near the farm and all the farm animals, they get all the good stuff. You get all the scraps you can steal from the... From, from from the compost there, and uh, all you got is carrots, carrots every night, carrot soup, carrot this, carrot that. You know, it gets a little bit much there. You know what I'm saying? All right. So anyway, there we got our onion. It's all chopped up. That's how it's going to go. It's going to go nice. It's got the same kind of form as your uh, oranges. And then we'll uh, get some uh, garlic chopped up there. Now, if you happen to be a, a non-human creature such as myself, and you're in possession of claws, my suggestion to you would be to uh, use them. You know, you never worry about ashing in your food. It's, uh, it's good for the food. You had about mm, two tablespoons of uh, red wine vinegar because you don't have any uh, apple cider vinegar, you'd add that. The, uh, the acid in the vinegar helps break down, break down the pork so it'll be more tender when you're using it. You want to add some uh, sprinkles of paprika, just a little bit. Um, I don't know how much that is, you just guess. You look at it, you can see it on camera. Then you... Uh, you want to add your uh, cracked black pepper. That's about that much black pepper. That's all you gotta know. I don't get fresh herbs much. Uh, you had about a, you had about a tablespoon of your uh, dried oregano. Of course, you know to make it really good, you gotta put in a uh, one chipotle. I got some salt in there already, but you gotta remember if you smokers out there in the audience, your uh, your general smoking kills your taste buds. So you're gonna wanna add um you wanna gonna wanna add extra salt so that so that you can taste it. Uh, plus the salt will balance the vinegar you just added. But if you don't add any salt, my friends, you'll uh, it'll taste like you're eating mush. You uh, wanna make sure that you set your oven your oven there um, for uh, for bake because if you don't you won't get anything okay I put some uh, put some tin foil on it if you're rich enough to afford a uh, uh, rich enough to afford a lid then go ahead and uh, buy yourself a lid I put the tin foil on there and I uh, you know I added I added, uh, added about a quarter cup of water 
you want to do that because you want to uh, make sure that you got enough steam in there to cook the meat. And then I lit my cigarette on the stove, and uh, now, um, now I'm done, and I just got to wait for this fabulous uh, meal to be ready. Okay. Oh my, doesn't that look good? Aren't you glad I made this? I wish we had smell a vision so you could you could get a whiff here of, of what I got cooking for you. Oh, these are gonna be fantastic. Unless you're uh, really hungry, it's not a good idea to lick the tin foil lid or uh, try to reuse it. Mostly these things, unfortunately, we throw them out. Creates more waste. What I got here is a nice, uh, nice mozzarella. You get yourself a lot of this cheese here, and you, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make that stuff real creamy when you make those tortillas. It's gonna be great. Mm mm mm. The cow will never miss it. That's some good cheese, kids. I'm so excited to share this meal with you. You're gonna love it. I gotta go get myself another smoke. Food will be ready in a minute. Okay. Well, once you, uh, once you got your, uh, your two-thirds of a cup of sushi rice there, then you, uh, you're gonna wash it. Because you get the starch off it, and it, uh, it ends up making things taste a lot better. Because it don't get all gooey and, you know, make you feel like you got too much goo all over yourself. You don't like to get goo all over yourself when you're making rice. You save to getting goo all over yourself for other things. So you get where I'm going with that. Okay, fine. So anyway, this is all a long way of saying that what we're going to do is we're going to take our two-thirds of a cup of sushi rice. We're going to wash it off. We're going to add, uh, we're going to add a water there and we're going to put it in a pan. And then uh, I guess I'll uh, talk about that when we get there. Okay, so uh, well, let's, uh, let's wash off the rice now. Then you go and you get your, uh, you get your sushi rice wet and you strain it until you see the liquid runs clear. Or, or until you get bored. Or hungry. Or you start thinking about something else you gotta do. Whatever it is, you just, you wanna get the starches off the rice so it don't get gummy. Okay? Check it. You want to add uh, one paw full of butter. Then you want to add about that much paprika. And you want to add some uh, ground red pepper. If you had a jalapeno, you'd add that, but uh, then you got to go to the garden. We don't like that. So there's your uh, red pepper there. And then you're going to stir it all up and you're going you're gonna to cook it for a while until it's ready. You're also never going to forget to add salt. You want to add about uh, that much salt because I got uh, salted butter in there. So I'm just going to add about that much salt, you know, because you don't want your food to taste like mush. Now we got all our ingredients together. We got our rice, we got cheese, we got our mixture of pork and oranges. We're gonna put it all together and we're gonna roll some tortillas. We're gonna speed this up in the editing process. So it's gonna go a little bit faster than uh, it seems to be going right now and a little bit faster than you can actually do. But I think you'll get the idea. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just roll us up uh, tortillas and uh, excuse us while we go do that. And that's there how you make them. So uh, then you just roll them all up and off you go. So if you'd like a copy of the recipes, uh, I don't know, don't bother. Watch the program, write it down. You got pens, pencils, something like that. Tape it, video, see this thing. So uh, yeah, thanks anyway. 
see you next time.